me see. Check the stream real quick. Like this? Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Yeah. Stream is good. Shalom, this is GMS South Holland coming back to you through the spirit and power of Yahweh Shem Yashai. Before we start off, we want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Shem Yashai. Double honors to the elder apostles, great millstone, peace and salutations to the elect out there that are spreading this word of sincerity and the truth all over the four corners of the earth. Gone. We're about to go into a quick lesson, you know, quickly through the spirit. We're going to flow. Um, as you see the title of this lesson, Flee, uh, Flee from Sin. Okay, we are in certain times wherein things is going to um, intensify, so to speak. Okay, things is going to ex intensify and, uh, and get worse around here, man. So it's very important that you get your shit together, so to speak. Okay, so uh, yeah, reach a precept. It's Micah chapter. Oh boy, <laughs> I need to get another sword, man. Half the oh, page is missing. All the page is missing. <laughs> it's not missing, but like the end of it is missing. But the golden pages. Yeah, man. Yeah, what is that? <laughs> yeah, man. So you got you got to depart from sin, man. The in these times, the heavenly Father, okay. Ain't really playing around no more. Like how the Heavenly Father had, you know, a certain type of mercy upon us back in the days. Okay. Basically winking at our father. Okay. So I got a scripture on that. Um, this is. Um, or you, you want to read your scripture first? Yeah. Concerning what you were saying a moment ago. Um, this is uh, Micah chapter 2 verse 10. And it reads, Arise ye and depart. But this is not your rest, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. Yeah, speak on it. So just like the brother's talking about, you know, the Lord is uh, making things more intense, you know, as we get closer and closer to the day of the Lord. So that means, you know, uh, to depart, it doesn't mean just get up and just leave the area that you talk, uh, that you're living in, but it's talking about uh, the ways of this world, you know, to depart from the ways of this world, and putting on that a new man by coming back to the heavenly father uh seeking the old path you know um so that way you'd be able to get right with the uh before the lord's eyes man because you know if, if you're out there in the world <clears throat> just uh you know thinking that it's not all serious you know you're going to be swept away with the rest of the people man yep that's right this is um acts chapter 17 verse 29 for as much then as we are the offspring of the Most High, we ought not to think that the Godhead is unto gold or silver or stone graven by art and man's device. And the times of this ignorance the Most High winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. You see that? So we got to get our minds straight, man. We got to get our mind together. Okay, this goes for whole Israel. Now, of course, ain't no brother in this truth Think, thinks that uh, the Heavenly Father is a statue, is made of gold, of silver, of wood, of stone. Ain't nobody is in that mindset. But the point is, there was a certain time wherein Israel went astray, wherein Israel was going after these idols, and the Heavenly Father basically winked at it. Okay, the Heavenly Father was like, you know, these people leave it, man. They lack understanding. Mm -hmm. Does the scripture in, in Micah? Can you grab that? Uh, my people are destroyed. Yeah. You I think know, that was in Hosea. Huh? I think it's in Hosea. Oh, Hosea. Yeah, Hosea 5 and 6 or something. 6 and... Uh, 4 and 6. 4 and 6. Yeah. Yeah, man. So the Heavenly Father was like, you know what? Leave it, man. Okay, but now we are living in serious times and the Heavenly Father is not playing around with that spirit of iniquity no more okay the heavenly father wants 
people to stop, okay? Committing sin upon sin upon sin, okay? And the first step towards that is to take heed to the word and accept Yahweh Shai, okay? Because he is uh, the one that is covering Thank your you. sins, right? okay? He is the one that is, is, is laying a covering over your sins, okay? And then when you are converted, when you came back to this truth, okay, you got to realize that you, you ain't supposed to go into that way of old no more. Become a new man, okay? This is uh, Hosea chapter, chapter 4, verse 6, and it reads, My people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shall, no, thou shall be not... No priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. Yeah, so the Heavenly Father was like, hey, yo, whatever, man. You know, these people, you know, and that also came with a sore destruction upon our people. But then at a certain time, the Heavenly Father just left us alone. You know, just deal with the curses that are laid upon you. You know, I ain't going to put no attention to you. Okay. No prophet. No, no priests, okay? And that's the time wherein we became dry bones. The most I just left us alone. You understand? But now it's high time to wake up out of sleep. Give me that scripture. I got the word um, iniquity. Let me see if I can share my screen. Uh, can I share my screen? What is this? Um... Yeah, fuck it. I have to figure it out all the time. Anyway, the word iniquity, it says hostility, malevolence, a hostile action. It says from old French, iniquité, wickedness, unfavorable situation from Latin iniquitatum, unequalness, unevenness, Unfavor unfavorableness, unjustness, okay? It says in, meaning not, and equus means just, okay? So you got to stop from things that is not just in the eyes of the Most High, man. The Heavenly Father, who is the Father of Spirits, he decides whether the things you be, you be getting it yourself into is just or not, man, okay? The Heavenly Father wants you to depart from it. You have that scripture? Yeah. This is Romans chapter 13, verse 11. It reads, And that knowing the time, that now is high time to awake out of sleep, for now is our salvation nearer than we, when we believed. Yeah, man. So the Heavenly Father wants us to wake up out of sleep. The Heavenly Father wants us to depart from iniquity and turn towards Him. That's why He, he has set up the servants of prophets in the highways and byways, preaching his word, okay, making the iniquity known unto the people, because that's also a thing that the servants of prophets is doing out in the highway and byway, okay? They are making known the iniquities of the children of Israel. <clears throat> Which that is in Ezekiel. You going to grab that? Um, I actually was going to grab uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. Okay. Then I'm gonna grab Ezekiel. This is uh, Ezekiel chapter three, verse um, first one. Uh, it's like uh, Ezekiel chapter three, I thought it was uh, Ezekiel two. Yeah, Ezekiel chapter 2, I was already looking, 2 is better. It also yeah. says it in 3, but yeah. Ezekiel chapter 2, verse 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him spake unto me. And he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the rebellious children, to a rebellious nation that had rebelled against me. They... And their fathers have transgressed against me, even unto this very day, for they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. 
I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus said Yahweh the Most High. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, but they are a rebellious house, yet, yet shall know that there had been a prophet among them. Okay, so the Heavenly Father has commanded us to go out to our uh, to our people, okay, and to tell uh, our people um, their iniquity, man. Okay, wow. read your scripture. This is Isaiah, which is, this is a classic one. We also always read the stubborn Jakes that don't want to listen at the camp, you know. This yeah. is uh, Isaiah 58 and 1. <coughs> and it's and it titled, The Sins of the House of Jacob. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. So, you know, we be out there in the highways of hedges, so you be wondering why we speak out loud, you know. Um, it says, um, and show my people their transgressions, transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. Yeah, speak on it. So, you know, this is a thing that we continually do, man. You know, we out there in the highways of edges, we're making these videos to uh, get our people to repent and to come back to the Heavenly Father. But we understand that it's only of the elect that are going to listen because... Just like uh, what the brother read in Ezekiel chapter 2, our people are very stubborn, stiff-necked, man. You know, these, our people are one of the most stubborn people upon this earth, man. You know, you got other nations upon this earth that when they're being told that they are the lost tribes of, of, of Israel, they're with it 100%. But when you tell our people that stuff, they reject it right away, man. You know, they reject it because uh, uh, Sleazy E is not in the picture, man. You know, God, this is um, uh, uh, Isaiah chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgressions and the house of Jacob their sins. You see that? So that's a duty of the, the man of the Lord, also in the highways and byways. We need to show our people their transgressions and their sins, man. Okay. Give me real quick, um, First Corinthians chapter nine, verse twenty-seven. Okay, we got to show our people uh, their sins, man. So they turn to the to the Lord, man. We tell them, flee from this sin, flee from this wickedness. Now, how are they gonna know what sin is if we do not explain them? Like uh, the Ethiopian eunuch said, "How can a man understand lest a man guide him?" Okay, so the heavenly Father has raised up the prophets to tell the people what they do wrong and how they should repent and turn back to Yahweh Shnei Okay? Because the, the point is, he commanded all people now to repent. Okay? Does the Heavenly Father know that uh, not all people are going to repent? Of course. The Heavenly Father has uh, knows, knows all these things from the beginning. Not everyone is going to repent. The Heavenly Father has vessels of glory and vessels of wrath. He knows which people are just going to end up, you know, being miss of food, being, um, being fuel for the fire, so to speak. But he does command everyone to repent. Otherwise, they will say, yeah, I never knew it. And, you know, I never, I never heard the word. No, the Heavenly Father makes sure that you hear it so you have no cloak for your sin. Okay, so this is um, Sirach chapter 21, verse 1. My son, hast thou sinned? Do so no more, but ask pardon for thy former sins. Flee from sin as from the face of a serpent, for if thou comest too near it, it will bite thee. The teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion, slaying the souls of men. You see that? So we are telling you, like, listen, don't approach a snake, man. Don't approach that snake. Stay away from it. He will bite you. Okay? Don't tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. That's basically how Israel is coming towards us, man. Yep. Don't tell me that I can approach you. Six. Then you get bitten. Now what? Now you're about to die. Okay? Yep. And then it's, you know, working its way into the body. 40 minutes, you're dead. Okay? Really, if that was the way the Heavenly Father would work, a lot of people wouldn't be doing this iniquity that they'd be doing, man. Because what does the scripture say? Because of because sentence, let me grab it, man. 
You read that scripture? I got a, a quick precept upon what you were reading. Yeah. If I may. This is Sirach chapter 15, verse 20. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither have he given any man license to sin. So, you know, just like the brother's talking about, man, you know, we tell you these things, and if you don't want to listen, you're gonna you're gonna pay the ultimate price because he didn't give no man license to sin willfully. Because if you're being told don't do this. You know, you've been given that chance and opportunity to correct yourself, man. But exactly. if you don't want to take heed, then that's 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 going to be your problems. That blood is going to be upon your own head, man. Exactly. Yeah. You have no license to sin. The, mo the, the thing is, the Heavenly Father just already knows what you are going to do. <laughs> you know, <laughs> when you when you get into a situation, the Heavenly Father already knows he's about to do this. He's going to do that. Okay, Yahweh knew it too. Okay, what does the scripture say? And he knew their thoughts, what they yeah. were thinking, how they was already plotting to do certain things. He already knew where their mind was going to go. Yeah. Okay, that's why he also said in Matthew chapter 12 or Matthew chapter 13, he said like, that this is the reason I speak unto them in parables, because I don't want them to, to, to be Understand. healed. I don't want them to repent. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. But guess what? When you hear this word and when you understand this word, it is important that you flee from sin as of, uh, as from a serpent, man. Right. Okay? The Good. teeth thereof are as the teeth of a lion. lion. Okay? A lion, if you come to close, you know, uh, even if he's behind the cage, there's enough videos where dude is standing to close by the lion's cage in a zoo and then the lion just snatches him up. Okay, so don't come in, in, in situations neither wherein you can get snatched up by, by, you know, iniquity, man. Don't put yourself in situations wherein you're going to fall or, or commit sin or commit crime or, you know, commit iniquities, man. That's why the scripture says also in Psalms, it says that you basically pray to the Lord to give you a food... Uh, um, Food, uh, um, what does it say? Convenient. It's a convenient no, right? no, it says, um, give me neither poverty nor riches. Riches. Let me see. That's in uh, Samuel, I believe. First Samuel. No, it's in, um, it's in Proverbs. I got a quick precept for you, if I may. Yeah. This is Sirach chapter 12, verse 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? Or any such as come nigh wild beasts. Right? So just like the brother said, man, you know, if you if you put yourself in these kind of situations, that's your own fault, man. For example, you got a you got a a, a snake charmer. If he get bit, the people are gonna be like, Hey, we was waiting for that shit to happen, man. <laughs> we was waiting for that to happen. Or somebody wants to be around wild wild beasts. You know, for example, you had this uh, Edomite in Alaska always, uh, around bears and shit. And guess what? He was sitting there next to a bear that was eating salmon in the stream. And uh, eventually later on, him and his girl got mauled to death, man. They got chewed up. Verse 14, so one that goeth to, to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? So if you want to uh, continue... Uh, around wicked dudes, uh, uh, chill with sinners, you know, and, and also committing sin. Nobody's nobody's gonna pity you, man. Nobody's gonna pity you because you made those choices to put yourself in that situation where you're gonna end up going off, man. Yeah, um, this is um, um, Ecclesiastes chapter eight, verse eleven. Because sentence against an evil work is not ex executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of man is fully set in them to do wicked, or like to do evil. So this is the same as concerning the if you uh, if you approach um, um, sin is is like approaching a snake. Okay, if you approach a snake, a dangerous snake, a snake that is in this S position. Okay, the S position means he's about to strike your ass. You you gotta face the consequences, man. Okay, mm -hmm. now the Heavenly Father is long suffering towards the vessels of wrath. 
long suffering towards the vessels of wrath. You know what that means? He has patience to destroy your wicked ass. He's just waiting to destroy yep. your wicked ass. Yep. Okay, the Lord is long suffering towards uh, the vessels of wrath. Okay, so um, if you approach a serpent or a lion, you're gonna face judgment instantly on the spot. Now, concerning sin, uh, okay, give me real quick Job chapter 21 and 30. Concerning sin, hey, the Heavenly Father can jack you up right now, or the Heavenly Father can wait and jack you up, you know, in the end of the days. Right. Okay, most likely he's just reserving you for the for the day of judgment, man. Because for the men that are trying to do right in the sight of the most high, what they what you often see is that you see, you see the wicked, they 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 commit iniquity, they they go and uh, commit adultery daily. Nothing happens. At one time, <laughs> your whole day is going messed up. I remember I woke up one day on the uh, on the Sabbath day, going home. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, coming down from the stairs, just woke up, freshed up, you know, about to go uh, to the job, blasting music, boom, 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 boom. flipping my food in the morning. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All of a sudden, I said, no, nah, let me change the song. Then I see, oh, it's a Sabbath. Du, 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 I turn it off. It's like, okay, calm down, calm down. Rest, rest. Rest is allowed. Boom, let's go to the job. I leave the house. I close the door. I forgot my car yep. key. And I forgot <laughs> my house key. I couldn't go back in the house. And I couldn't go to the job. I was just in front of the door with nothing. Yeah, you know, and then, and then you'd be like, okay, you know, I gotta be sharp, man. They have me father jack me up a little bit, like, clap. See, you, you forgot this, this truth, man. Well, you gonna forget from the law, huh? You said you go, you gonna forget my day. Okay, you gonna forget this, yo stuff. You gonna forget? Yeah, that. Man. You wanna forget <laughs> my Saturday? You gonna forget your keys? So yep. you can't get to the job. So yeah, you know, everything turned out still good eventually, but right. You know, you'll be looking at the wicked and you'll be like, man, they ain't getting jacked up. No, because the Heavenly Father has reserved them for the day of judgment, for the day of punishment. Uh -huh. Go on. This is Job chapter 21, verse 30, and it reads that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Yeah, man, the wicked is reserved for the day of destruction. They shall be brought forth in the day of wrath. Okay, so what does the Heavenly Father want? He wants you to repent. The Heavenly Father wants you to, to stop doing all that, that nonsense that you're doing, man. Okay? And, you know, you, what you should ask for is a balanced life, man. Like yeah. I said, you don't want to put yourself in a position that you are near a snake or near a lion. You don't want to put yourself in a position that you are going to sin. So you ask the Heavenly Father, can you please... Put me in a situation where I don't tend to sin or don't tend to wickedness. Mm -hmm. Proverbs 30 and 8. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Sure. Feed me with food convenient for me. Yeah. Uh, lest I be fool and deny thee and say, who is the Lord? Or lest mm -hmm. I be poor and steal and take the name of my God in vain. Yeah. Okay? So... If you are rich, now all of a sudden you think you, you're the big dog. Now you think you're the man. You don't need that, Heavenly Father. Look at all these riches. That's why the scripture also says you can't serve uh, the most high in mammon. Yeah. If you're all about that guap, then, yeah. hey, you're going to perish with it, man. You can't be about the Heavenly Father and about, you know, making it and the riches and, you know. So you're going to forget the most high. But if yeah. you are poor, you're going to look for ways to make money. And those ways are often crooked and wicked. And the Heavenly Father ain't, is not down with that neither, man. Okay? Scripture says it's high time to wake up out of sleep. Okay? Now, to be in a slumbering um, mode is also thinking that you're always, you know, you're always good. I believe in your shy anyway. You know, I can just do what I want. Um, give me that uh, Corinthians. And then I grabbed the last scripture. What was it, uh, 1 Corinthians? Um, 1 Corinthians 9 and 27. Okay. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. But I keep under my body 
and bring it unto into subjection, lest they slack it, lest that by any means when I have preached to others, I myself should be a cast away. Yeah, and th these are the words of the uh, Apostle Paul, man. He says, I keep under my body, meaning I keep my body in subjection. Okay, I make sure that I don't uh, I don't allow sin. Let me uh, let me grab that real quick in uh, in the NLT. Uh, what is it? Nine and twenty-seven, right? He says, I, "I'm trying to uh, control uh, uh, my flesh, man." Okay. It says First Corinthians nine and twenty-seven in the NLT. Or yeah, NLT. It says, "I discipline my body like an athlete, training it to do what I should." Otherwise, I fear that after preaching to others, I myself might be disqualified. You see that? So that so uh, Apostle Paul is, is is telling you with the scripture, like I'm trying to contain myself to not go into the ways of wickedness, not go into the ways of of the world, but to contain myself like an athlete, trying to you know stay strong and disciplined. If an athlete has an up and coming fight. All his friends and stuff like that is eating all this 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 dainty food, Shake Shack, okay, uh, in and out. You know, you see, you see, brothers, you know, feasting, man. Always when you on a on a fast or when you on a, a certain diet, brothers the be grilling. Dainty plates. You know, you got old cookouts going on and stuff like that. But hey, you got this fight fight coming up, man. You got to be disciplined. You got to stay on yep. your diet. You know, and do what you're supposed to do. That's that's the way of an athlete. So Apostle Paul says, I have to do the same thing. We all have to do the same thing. Otherwise, you preach. And if you preach that people should depart from sin, you preach that people should depart from iniquity, and, and then you fall out yourself. Mm -hmm. Scriptures even say people are, is going to mock you, man, if that happens to you. So you got to make sure that that doesn't happen to you. Okay, now the last scripture that I want to bring out is Galatians. I read it. Uh, give me Galatians 5 and 4. And then also, and then you jump to 13. This is Galatians chapter 5, verse 4, and it reads, Yahweh Shai is become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. Yeah, man. So we are under the Lord Yahweh Shai. So we have the grace. So all the sins that we commit are covered by Yahweh Shai. Okay. And now if you if you say you are justified by the keeping of the law, you don't need Yahweh Shai. Guess what? You you stay into your iniquities. So you, you're supposed to pray being under Yahweh Shai that the Heavenly Father takes not your sins into account. Because we are going to commit sin. You got to pray that the Lord don't take your sins into account. Okay, yeah. but as long as you're under Yahweh Shai, you're under grace. Okay, you have that that space to make mistakes, to mess up. Okay, and that's also how you gotta walk towards brothers, because the scripture says forbearing one another. The word forbearing goes into giving room to make mistakes, giving room to each other to make faults. We all gonna make mistakes. We all gonna 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 uh, offend one another one time. Okay, yeah. that can happen. You gotta give a brother that space, you know. Don't tell him, hey, you you got the you got all the room to you know just just fuck me over, man. You know you got all the room. You, you want to steal my money? I'm gonna forgive you anyway. No, don't be like that. But if he messes up and if he repents, you're just gonna be like, hey, you know, hey, it's all good, man. But you know, I didn't like that that shit that you was doing, man. Just don't do it no more, you know. Okay, cool. Boop boop boop. Done. So that's how the Lord Yahweh Barsham Yahweh Shah is also dealing with you. But then you have wicked pieces of shit that are deliberately using that for an occasion to the flesh. Give me that. Um, Galatians 5 and 13. It's Galatians chapter 5, verse 13 now, and it reads, For brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. But by love, serve one another. You see that? So just because we are now in, uh, we now have liberty, liberty meaning freedom, on the Yahushai to make faults, to make mistakes, to sin. Okay? Sin is not, we are not going to be justified by the law no more. We are, we, 
okay, Satan has no power over us no more if we commit sin. So we have that liberty now. We are under grace now. But yeah. don't use that freedom. Don't use that liberty for an occasion to the yeah. flesh. Yeah. Then you wicked piece of shit. Oh, oh, I'm under grace anyway. And you got dudes, man. You got Israelites that say, you don't have to keep the law, man. You know? The scripture says if you if you break law, one law, then you break all of them. So, you know, it doesn't even matter. Okay, you know, you 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 using that liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Real quick, last scripture, Romans chapter 3, verse 31. I also had a scripture. Okay, read that real quick and then Romans 3. Oh, really yeah, go, man. Got the yeah I was like concerning what you were saying. Uh, Romans chapter 3, uh, Galatians chapter 3. Um, verse 11 but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of the most high it is evident for the just shall live by faith and that the law is not of faith but the man that doeth them shall live in them so you know a man of faith he's going to he's going to try to keep the ways of the heavenly father but we know that it's not going to uh be the uh the um the thing that's going to save us Exactly. You know, that's that grace that we have. Yep. You know? A so, man that has that faith, he's going to make sure that he shows it by his works. Exactly. Proverbs 24 and 16, for a just man falleth seven times and rise it up again, but the wicked shall fall into mischief. Okay? That's a good scripture, man. Right. So um, read Romans 3 and 31. Start right. at 30. Okay. Right. This is Romans chapter 3, verse 30, and it reads, Seeing it is one power which shall justify the circumcision by faith and uncircumcision through faith. Do we then make void the law through faith? Yahweh forbid. Yea, we establish the law. You see that? So even though we are justified through the faith that we have in Yahweh and not by the law, we still make sure that we make use of the law. We establish the law. We, we uphold the law. Yahweh said, he that keepeth the law and doeth it shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. So you got to do it, man. Not only speak it, because you have guys that also just speak, uh, uh, you know, the words of the law, but they don't do it themselves. What did the scriptures call them? What does Yahweh call them? Hypocrites. Okay. You got to make sure that you keep under your body. You keep yourself in subjection, your flesh in subjection. At least you yourself should be a castaway. Right. Okay, so with that, we want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Double honors to the other apostles, great millstone pieces, citations to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.